All eyes remain on Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz in camp. He's a big draw. So much so, one family traveled over 1,500 miles from Jamestown, North Dakota, to see their favorite player. It's just awesome to be included in all this stuff. Excuse me. It's, uh, it's just great. It's, a, I guess, a dream. Once in a lifetime, maybe. It's just awesome. What made it so awesome? <laughs> just being here. Being away from North Dakota for us to be here, it's just great. And to get to see Carson Wentz? Yes, he's awesome. Such a role model for our kids and grandkids. Now that's a passionate Carson yeah. Wentz yeah. fan. We just have to get her a Kleenex. Yeah. They're proud of him. You can tell they're so oh, proud. Oh, they love him yep. back yeah. in North Dakota. Fargo, Bismarck, all of North Dakota, really. A lot of Eagles fans. It's pretty cool to know that the backing we had from North Dakota, they're all now backing me while I'm out here. There's a new Sunday football tradition here in Fargo, directly across the street from North Dakota State University, in a bar called Herd and Horns, a tightly knit local football community gathers to cheer for a team playing a game in a big city more than a thousand miles away. He's a hard-working kid that came from Bismarck, North Dakota, worked for everything he had. He waited on the bench for, for three years in college to get his spot. He worked and grinded every single day. He was on scout team, and he'd throw a couple balls. You'd be like, whoa, this kid's going to be able to play. And, uh, you know, seeing the success and how hard he worked for it is an awesome deal. Just look at the national impact he's making, um, bringing people together. He did that when he was an NDSU student, and I know he did that when he was a Bismarck High School student. So it's been really fun to watch him and to continue to watch him and see how he brings us together. Carson Wentz arrived in Philly with a subtle Midwestern combination of swagger and grit. A persona born on the high plains of Bismarck, North Dakota, where he played football at Century High School. His intentions in the classroom were mirrored that on the football field. He was very intense and a straight-A student. The first time that I knew that he was going to be pretty special was his junior year. Uh, we had all intentions of playing him at the quarterback position and unfortunately he had an injury sustained early in the preseason and he came back uh, and actually played wide receiver and free safety with a cast on his hand. Junior year I played some outside linebacker safety when I was a senior and I loved it. I loved playing on that side of the ball. You ever go up to Malcolm Jenkins and say, hey, this technique might work for you? No, my <laughs> technique wasn't great. I was just that big kid running around. It wasn't easy at all for Carson. I mean, he had to wait in the wings and I think that's a real good learning tool for a lot of players. Is when your time arrives, you got to be ready to go. Carson Wentz had just a handful of scholarship offers that didn't matter. He never really wanted to stray far from home anyway. So he chose North Dakota State, even if he had to redshirt during his first season. He was a true freshman and I was a defensive back coach here my first year. I caught a lot of grief because at the end of the season, we won the national championship. People said, who's the best quarterback you face this year? And I said, without question, a uh, skinny redhead that we had as our uh, true freshman uh, scout team quarterback picked us apart and we couldn't tackle him. He was too athletic in space. Finally, in his junior year, Wentz got the chance to start. He led the Bison to back-to-back -back FCS championships, earning most outstanding player honors in both games. It's an empire they've built in Fargo. Five straight FCS championships for North Dakota State. Doesn't matter what level of football you play at, if you're good enough, they're gonna find you. The Eagles found him, and they've got a guy that's gonna be the cornerstone of their franchise for a decade or more. You're a Bison in this state, and you're an Eagles fan. And so on Saturday, we'll cram 19,000 people in the Fargo Dome to watch the Bison, and then on Sunday, everybody's gonna huddle around their TVs and, and watch Carson. Wentz means something to the people of North Dakota because he's shown they mean something to him. Over the summer, he returned to share a message at his former church. We were talking, he said, hey, I would love an opportunity to step out of my comfort zone, do something that I'm not used to doing. And so that just kind of started a conversation of having him come and speak at our night service here at First Assembly. From North Dakota, the hard work ethics that we have, we relate that we're gonna work our tails off and earn what we get. And so I was like, I'm a good kid, I make good decisions. 
That's what it takes to get right with God, and boy, was I wrong. And I think it took him from this place of being a famous athlete, and he was just himself. He was just Carson in front of us, and we were able to connect with him on that real person-to-person -person level. When you compare Philly to where you grew up, what do you think about the comparison of the two places? You know, the blue-collar work ethic um, is a very similar vibe as it is in North Dakota. You know, you, you work hard for, for everything you get um, back home. That's kind of the values that, that you learn as a kid, and out here you can tell it's the same. We heard about you writing a letter when you were a kid about what you were going to do when you grew up. Tell us about that. I want to say I was in second or third grade, and I wrote, when I grow up, I want to play in the NFL. And sometimes even just talking about that now, I still have to pinch myself that I was just a little kid from North Dakota, and here I am living my dream.